Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from The Vault. So today we have Mega Man X5. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 2000, developed and published by Capcom. Alright, so this is the fifth entry in the X series. This game is still pretty good, but not as good as X4 or X1. You still have the ability to play as either X or Zero at the start, which gives either X the fourth armor, or force armor, whatever it's called in this, or if you choose Zero, he, he gets his Zero Buster as a bonus. So, but this time, you can change your characters at will back at Maverick Hunter HQ, so that's pretty cool. This game has a sort of time limit where if you don't defeat all the Mavericks in a certain amount of hours, quote-unquote hours, a space colony will crash into the planet. Whether or not two methods of destroying this space colony work also completely come down to RNG, which determines if Zero goes Maverick or not. And if Zero goes Maverick and you're playing as Zero, too bad, you can no longer play as him. But thankfully... That RNG segment can be uh, determined by reloading the save. Uh, you can also earn weapon parts from bosses, if you let them get stronger by letting the hours get dangerously low. So this was in originally intended to be the last entry in the X series and branch off into the Zero series until Mega Man X6 happened. So several months have passed since X and Zero dealt with the Repliforce. Force. Things have been peaceful for a time, until Sigma once again resurfaced and started causing havoc. X and Zero had set out to deal with him once again. However, Sigma had wanted them to take out this copy of himself. It ends, it, it ends up spreading his Sigma virus all across the planet. He also hired a mercenary named Dynamo to take over the Eurasia space colony and has set it to crash into the planet in 16 hours. Now X and Zero will have to try and find parts for the Enigma Pit Cannon and Space Shuttle to try and destroy the colony before it crashes, all while dealing with a new set of Mavericks along the way. Okay, so set that there. Oh, that should be fine. All right, let's start. So yeah, you still can pick who to play as at the start, and it gives them uh, a bonus. So we'll start with X. Piece of cake. The colony is still alive. I can let it fall at any time. All I have to do is go back to the earth and scatter the virus. Nobody dares to fight you against except those stupid Maverick Hunters. X and Zero really so strong that you can't let someone else do it? Oh boy. So, Mega Man X5 is also known as... Alia, please shut up the game! Alia is the operator who gives you, like, hints and instructions and stuff. This person talking now. I, I really don't care what she has to say. She talks way too much. Yeah, look, we have the Force Army. This is definitely a much better bonus than what Zero gets. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, like I was mentioning before. Yeah, okay. I mentioned before in X4 how X had a better feed in that game, and Zero. And that's true in this. X's theme is not as good, but then Zero's theme in this is definitely much better. That could have hurt. Oh god, Alias, shut up. We got these cables now that you can hook up to with the up by hitting up on the D-pad. 
Hey, Zero. Looking a little beat up there. Just a bit of a bruised ego. He is looking for him, but can't pick up any readings. He's a virus. He can't be seen or analyzed correctly like other data. You have to feel his evil energy. You can't fight in the, him in this condition. Sigma is very close to us. Be careful, X. Oh, you, you mean, say, like, right next to you in that statue? Hello again, Sigma. Sigma looks really strange in this game. Stupid Maverick Hunters! You will all feel the true Maverick power right before you die! Oh, right. His weak point is his mouth. I don't think that after effect is doing anything. Oh! Right, he also does a giant laser attack, I forgot. Gotcha! Sigma virus has been leaking out. It must have spread all over and could cover the Earth by now. All of the records are getting severely damaged. They lost to us on purpose. We have to evacuate immediately. The entire Earth has been thrown into a panic because of the Sigma virus. So that's Cygnus, the new leader of Maverick HQ. The situation is far worse than expected. Sigma's explosion has spread the virus all over the Earth. It's affecting both people and reptiles. What's worse, the space colony Eurasia is heading straight toward us. At this rate, it's going to crash into the Earth in 16 hours. And the entire human race will be annihilated. For the sake of the world, we must destroy the colony. The only weapon we have in the Hunter base that still works is Enigma, and it's very old. We also have a space shuttle, but it's very been affected by the virus, and the autopilot function doesn't work. So we need someone to fly it to the colony and let it collide. It's almost certain death, but we have no other choice. In order to use the Enigma, we need to build it up with some devices doesn't work as is. Under the influence of the Sigma virus, a lot of Maverick hunters have become Mavericks, and only a few hunters remain normal. Let's join forces with the rest of our brothers and complete the Enigma. So, the Enigma does have a chance of working. You have to defeat the first four Mavericks to get all the parts for it. Uh, but it's only like a 20% chance of it working or something like that. So it almost never works. 16 hours left with the collision, we have to upgrade the Enigma before that. There are four Mavericks that have the devices required to enhance the Enigma. Grizzly Slash. Duff McWhalen, one of the best Maverick names to ever exist. Squid Adler. And Izzy Glow. There are four other Mavericks, but those these four Mavericks are the only ones who have the devices to upgrade the Enigma. Who are the only Maverick Hunters that can match these Mavericks. Split up so you can gather the devices! So 
Okay, so yeah, you do have access to all four, but it strongly wants you to only worry about these four first. But yeah, also, these Mavericks definitely aren't named after uh, members of Guns N' Roses. No siree, not one bit. Okay, so it's calling it the Four Farmer in this. But you can call it the Four for Force Armor, whichever. Alright, so Grizzly Slash. Destroy the blue core, basically. <laughs> So I think in this game, this is the first game where um, X starts getting two armor sets instead of just one for the whole game. It could have been an X4, but I could be mistaken. Uh, but in order to equip it, I think you need to get every single part first. Which is kind of lame. Also, I think there's either an E tank or a heart tank up there, but we need. I think it's called the Gaia armor? I don't remember. Everything's exploded. Hello there, E tank. Okay, so it must have been a hard time over there. On the spikes. Go, go away! Oof! Nice crash. Can I do this? Yeah. Nice. Hey, Dr. Light. We've got Twobble. It's too dangerous to equip the parts for enhancement as soon as you pick, pick one. Therefore, I'll give you a data program for parts. Analyze and upload the data to your main memory in a secure area, then complete the armor. For security reasons, the program is divided into four segments. Once you gather all four parts, it'll be complete, and they do nothing unless you have all four. Here's the program for legs. With the leg part equipped, you can fly through the air, and you are also invincible while flying. Collide against the enemy to destroy them. And I- alright, so I think this one is the Falcon armor and the Gaia armor? So we just got the legs for the Falcon armor. No, it's weird, there's no voice acting all, except for, like, the voices and grunts of X and Zero. Alright, here he is, Grizzly Slash. You are the famous Maverick Hunter. Never expected to see you. What an honor. We have no time to fight you. Just give me the crystal ball. The virus is already taking control of me. Soon I'll become one of the Mavericks. We are destined to fight anyway. Fight me while I'm still conscious. I don't want to waste you when the virus is taking control. Please understand. We're dealing with the fate of the entire Earth. We can't waste time fighting you. Everything is meant to be. No one can escape their destiny. I'm sure you know that too. Besides, this is part of your mission, isn't it? 
Now fight me, Maverick Hunter! So this boss is kind of pathetic. Oh right, you can duck in this game. I forgot. Gotcha. But yeah, the way you make the timer go down is either by completing a stage, or if you go into a stage, and you die and get a game over and return to Maverick Base, that will count as one hour gone by. Ideally, if you wanted to get every single part from a boss because you won't start getting them right away, you would have to intentionally go into a stage and game over several times to get the timer down to like 9 or 8 hours or something, and then the bosses will start dropping parts. But because we just defeated him as is, we shouldn't be getting anything at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to Zero now. We could just switch to him normally. But then you don't get to see his amazing Zero Buster. I can't deny you that. Oh, so the Black Zero Code is ag again in this. And it actually does things. It increases his defense. Unfortunately, there's no just... Skip the cutscene button, so we're just gonna have to rush through all this text. Ah, oh, yeah, this theme. Love this theme. So, yeah, wanna see what Zero's bonus is for picking him at the start? The Zero Buster. It's really weak, but hey, it's a ranged attack. Oh my god, shut up, Alia. Out of curiosity, how long will it take to kill something like this? Way too long. Zero's turn to face this Sigma variant. <coughs> hey, X. What happened to you? I was attacked by Sigma. My armor was damaged. But I'm alright. As usual, we can't trust him or underestimate his maliciousness. You should go back to the Hunter base. I'll take over your mission. So, yeah, the... the it, if you pick Zero... 
X does not get his force armor at all, which is a major downgrade. It, 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 you're basically giving that up for the Zero Buster. Sigma's very close. Sigma's very close to us. Or is Sigma coming for us? After all, Hunters and Mavericks are very similar. We all simply exist. Deep, man. There he is. Wow, that was so much easier as zero. <laughs> of course, he also gave me the good RNG there. Oh no, your razor's coming down. But yeah, this cutscene's the same. Just like the opening one, no matter who you pick. Blah 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 blah. It make the cannon space shuttle. Find parts. So over here we also have the Skeever Mac Matrix, or uh, I think that's how you get, or Mat T Rex. I don't know. Uh, I forget his name. I actually forget both their names, if I'm honest. Right, so let's go after Grizzly Slash. Again. I don't have to actually get in front of it like they do with us. how low my HP was. Oh, he does have an air dash. Just right from the get-go. Alright, so going up there is not gonna do me any good. Since spikes tend to hurt. I didn't know how far away the platform was when I ran in to try to backtrack. Oh, 
This truck's already exploding. Hurry up. So this time, Zero can pick up these parts for X. You're Zero, aren't you? Who are you? Thank you for supporting X. Please continue to take care of them. I'll give you a program for X's armor. Analyze and upload the data to X's main memory in a secure area. I'm afraid that I know nothing about your body structure, therefore I can't enhance your power. I'm really sorry. I don't need any power-ups. I'm too cool for those. But I have one thing I want to ask you. Sometimes unknown data emerges in my mind and I can see a figure of an old professor. Do you know him by any chance? I don't know, perhaps if I saw him, but the data must be a fragment created by some error. I wouldn't worry about it. Why don't you just forget about it? When I saw you, I felt an urge to ask you. Interesting. Of course, Dr. Light had no idea that Zero was being built by Wally at the time while he was working on X. the boy. Zero. Seeing you reopens old wounds. You should have that looked after. I don't have time for small talk. Give me the crystal ball. Y you spelled crystal wrong. Why don't you do what you usually do and force me to? You used to be a maverick, right? That's what I heard. And you destroyed Sigma, didn't you? If you dare to try and fight me, then I accept your challenge anytime, anywhere. Hunters and Sigma are very similar. Very aggressive and overconfident. We're nothing like that scum. Oh yes you are. I'm just an arms dealer, but you, you destroy anyone who stands against you. Now I'm going to make you pay for what you did to me, Maverick Hunter. Gotcha! We'll do one more. Oh, it's Dynamo. Nice to meet you, Maverick Hunters. I have no hard feelings towards you, but this is my mission. Before long, I will attack the Hunter base. Are Mr. X and Mr. Zero there? Please play with me, I'm bored. 
Don't worry, we'll fight like true sportsmen. I am Dynamo. See you soon. Can we even attempt to fight against one so arrogant? Oh, also, what Grizzly Slash was saying that Sigma and the Maverick Hunters didn't seem very different. It's funny that Zero got mad when he was saying a similar thing in his opening stage. Okay, so next it wants us to go after Duff McWhalen. One of the best Maverick Hunter names in the series, next to Bamboo Pandemonium. But, um, I think the story goes that uh, the original voice actress for Claire, for Claire Redfield from Resident Evil, oh, I can't think of her name at the moment, but she was like a localizer on this, and her husband was a big fan of Guns N' Roses, so that's how she ended up naming all of the Mavericks for him. Which is kind of cute. Alright, so this could be bad, since I have zero lives. So I'm just gonna let it kill me right away. So, um, as long as you don't go back to the stage select screen, an hour won't pass, but if you do, then it will. You can continue as many times as you want. Oh yeah, so it doesn't tell you what- <laughs> Oh well, it says Z sword, but... Basically, it's giving us our spin attack. Also, hey, it's those fish from uh, Mega Man X1. They're back. Also, this theme that's playing, I believe it's a remix of Toxic Seahorse's theme from uh, Mega Man X2. Is it X2 or is... Okay, maybe it's not Toxic Seahorse. It's either X2 or X3. It's, it's a remix of one of them. I can't remember which at the moment. Oh, right, laser beam. Forgot about that. This level is kind of a bummer because it is a full on auto scroller. And it's very slow. Exhilarating boss. There it goes. And guess what? Another Aller Schooler segment. You don't get off that easy. This part's much harder with X. Oh, 
Gotcha. So she's basically thing saying that submarine was on display at a, at a museum, but it got taken by the Mavericks and put back into action. Also, there was a cracked ceiling over there, but um, nothing we can do about it at the moment. Can't do anything about this either. Hey, that was so fun the first two times, why don't we do it a third? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's pretty damn lame. Finally time to fight Duff McWhalen. Hey there, Duff. I'm here to secure the ocean nearest the hunter base. It has run high. The Enigma requires a large amount of hydrogen, so you must want the ocean in order to produce hydrogen. Please cooperate. I've already been infected. Shall we fight for old time's sake? A duel, now show no mercy. Your ship is about to set sail for the last time. So he's weak to the spin attack. On Fizzle Slash. It's much easier to deal with than that last part of the stage. Shaver and F Splasher.
Emergency. Dynamo is attacking the Hunter base. Fight back immediately. Alright, so it's forcing us to go after Dynamo at this point. Um, and interestingly, his attack style changes depending on which Maverick uh, Hunter that you're using against him. It's just kind of interesting. But um, I think that'll be a pretty good showcase of the game. You didn't really get to see like the, uh, most of the RNG stuff with like the Enigma Cannon and the sh Space Shuttle. Which, like I said earlier, if either of them fail, uh, then Zero ends up going Maverick. And then you can no longer play as him. Which really sucks, but them some breaks, but at least you can reload the save file and try the roll again with the RNG. But this game is still pretty fun for the most part, but especially comparing it to like X4, it's not as fun, but it's still an okay game. It's kind of a mixed bag.